Hello, today we're going to show you the operation of the Garmin GI275 as it supplements the Garmin GTN650 in Civil Air Patrol Minnesota Wing Cessna 172 aircraft. Hello, my name is Nick Motters. I'm with the Civil Air Patrol Minnesota Wing 130th Composite Squadron at the Air Lake Airport in Lakeville, Minnesota. With me is Major Al Alwyn, and today we are going to take you through the functions that are installed in Minnesota Wing Civil Air Patrol aircraft, it's 172 model, and show you how that GI-275 interacts with the Garmin 650. function, course deviation indicator, horizontal situation indicator, then horizontal situation indicator supplemented with map. We have a multi-function display. The GI-275 allows you to control the transponder in the aircraft if you wish. The instrument will also display traffic, FISB weather, terrain, and it has a strong map feature. Here's a good view of the CDI as it's installed in the Cessna 172 with the Garmin 650 running it. The feeding of the CDI in this configuration, we've got the navigation from the GPS available. We've got the VOR feeding it, localizer feeding it, and this aircraft has two VOR localizer receivers. That two is fed. In fact, right now we're on localizer two. By touching the CDI button, we can select GPS for the guidance. Localizer one. Localizer two. And if the VOR was being received, we'd get VOR1 and VOR2. Now, to get to the next opportunity in the uh, GI-275, we're going to take and turn the large or inner knob to the right, and that takes us to the horizontal situation indicator. Here again, we've got glide path from localiz or the localizer number one receiver and the glide path is presented there. We can, in fact, switch sources by touching CDI and the bottom of the case. For the next feature, we have HSI with map. Notice that we've got the CDI portion in the bottom of the instrument, and we have the glide path displayed on the right side. We are now at the 50 mile range. If we wanted to change the range, we can in fact touch and cause it to be highlighted the range feature, the 50 nautical miles, and we can crank that down or up as the case may be. You can also, as you will learn from the quick reference guide, you can change the range by squeezing or flicking out. So that's HSI with map. Multifunction display data is available. In this data, if in fact we had an active glide or an active GPS position, would in fact fill in the data here. It'd tell you the distance to the next waypoint. It'd tell you your ground speed if we were moving, the bearing to it, distance to destination, and things like that. You can also change this to provide data that you desire. If you push the button at the end of the small knob, it gives you all kinds of opportunities of things that you can change in here. As I said, we're not gonna teach you how to do that. We just want you to know that it's available. Now, on to the next feature. Transponder control is provided by the GI-275. If, in fact, the airplane had the transponder mounted in a place that was inconvenient for the pilot in the left seat to reach, you could control the transponder from here. This is not the case in this installation. The transponder is located in an easy-to-reach manner, but uh, the option is installed. Ah, here's the one I like best. 
traffic display coming through ADS-B uh, will give you the traffic at ranges that you wish. If the range marker is highlighted, you can in fact turn the small knob and cause the range to change on the traffic. A feature that uh, I think all of us will like a lot. Continuing on our search for features, here's Fisbee Weather. If you are in fact in range of a Fisbee transmitter, you will have uh, weather reporting stations shown on the instrument. You can in fact touch the stations, get the METAR to read out, so when Approach Controller Center says, do you have the weather for, you will previously have had the opportunity, you can get it right off of the GI-275. Here's a train feature, which is uh, very useful, especially in the mountains. If in fact we had a usable GPS signal, you would in fact see what few terrain irregularities we have in the Twin Cities. But uh, with usable GPS and uh, appropriate range selected, uh, you can in fact see things to be avoided. And here's the map feature. If we were to uh, change the range, we could in fact make the range coincide on this instrument with the range that's on the GPS. Personally, I would use this for the map feature and I would have the GI-275 on traffic and that would cause your traffic to be much more uh, readily discernible. Now going one more click, and watch the right side of the screen, see the white flash there. When you get to the end of the trail as far as features available, you get this blinking, or it blinks every time that you uh, turn the knob. You know you've gone as far as you've, uh, you're going to go as far as getting features. So let's just go back and cover what we've uh, discovered. There's the map feature. There's terrain. Fisby weather. Traffic. Transponder control. MFD data, the HSI map, HSI in a conventional presentation if you're used to uh, 1960s uh, ILSs and things like that, and then kind of back to the basics, the real steam gauge presentation. Notice as I continue to try to hope for more, as I turn that large knob to the left, we get the blinking message, the white, that says uh, you've gotten all you're going to get. You see before you the quick reference card for the GI-275. A Google job on the internet will cause this card to appear and you can print it or do whatever uh, retention method you wish. I must say that we are not going to try to teach you all of the features of the GI-275 today, but we do want to bring to your attention the fact that these references are available and that you can download them, print them, retain them in any way that you want, and then be able to address the functions of the GI-275. The quick reference card is a two-page document, and by the time you've had the chance to uh, learn it, you'll learn about turning little knobs, big knobs, pushing knobs, touching the screen, and getting everything out of the GI-275 that you want to have happen. We've shown you all of the features in the Garmin 275, as it's installed Minnesota Wing Civil Air Patrol Cessna 172 aircraft. You don't have enough information to really operate the device, but you know where everything is to find out how to do it. Between the quick reference guide and the Garmin GI-275 pilot's guide, you can dig through the document, you know what is not installed, and consequently you don't have to bother yourself with trying to study it. So. Notice on the bottom we've got the URLs, how you can get your copy of the pilot's guide. You may want to pause your video now and write that down. Or, as always, 
a good Google job will in fact get you all 320 pages of the document. As previously mentioned, you don't have enough information to really take advantage of all of the features in the GI 275, but you know where to find them. Happy.